Uh, I was always into poetry. I was always into writing. Uh, I loved hip hop from a super early age and had a lot of people around me that would put me on the new music from like my uncle Danny to the homies in school. And uh, my boy Deshante was ra rapping and he, he was like, you should, you should start rapping. I'm like, that's you. But he convinced me and we was in our first rap group was Young Thugs. 11 year old me. Man, I've been rapping since a kid. I can't even tell you how old, but when I was young, I was writing raps. I'm probably five, six years old. Excuse me, about five, six years old, pinning that stuff down, man. I knew how to rhyme and all that, so I, I was a kid, man. I always was into music and, like, you know what I'm saying? Moms, my aunties, and them playing their music on them Sundays and Saturdays, cleaning up, so it'd be R&B and oldies and all that, shaping my music, but you know, also just growing up and just being around certain stuff, you know, you just pick up that musical background. So like, yeah, I've been, I've been rapping since I was a, like a youngster. My first acquaintance with battle rap was through my boy Warren, from what I remember. And we used to watch, he used to get the Scribble Jam DVDs. <laughs> same cat he he had bought uh or he had downloaded the Bl ideas battles from the blaze battles on limewire and used to listen to that shit and be like oh this is crazy i never like been around cats who freestyled like that i don't know the age but i, I around the time with the smack dvds and the you know and, and all that man the sub zeros and the, you know what i'm saying too raw for the streets and all that you know definitely around that time is when i first was seeing it it wasn't really heavy for me on the West. I didn't really know a lot of dudes out here was doing it. You know what I mean? But as far as like seeing it from the Murder Mooks, the Reed Dollars, the Fight Club, Sirius Jones and all them type cats doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? From all the way to Cassidy and Freeway, the battle, you know what I'm saying? I remember I had that on the CD, you know what I'm saying? So like I've been, I've been uh, found out about it that long ago and then just, I eventually got into it myself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as I got older, but like I, I, uh, I definitely ran into it as a, as a youngster, probably in high school, middle school, or something like that, for real. For the chrome, I used to stick pipes to his mom's when his pops went home. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm your step pops. You see all these red dots? My nigga like photographers, all they taking his head shots. That, 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 that shit basic, man. Okay, that shit that's basic. Cool, but y'all want me to believe this some kind of hard thug? I told him what's up with them two C's. He said, what's that, a car club? <laughs> <laughs> The only grinding you got to do is skateboard. Thanks. <laughs> Straight up, he said he was from Lake Forest. <laughs> like, do that even need a punchline? <laughs> Maybe I should nice. just serve him with a tray like he's standing in the lunch line. <laughs> what? <laughs> this nigga said he was from Lake Forest. <laughs> and he's standing up here looking like a sea turtle. This is not fair. Y'all got John Gotti battling Steve Urkel. <laughs> Because my boy Austin gave me a fly. I was, I was getting into underground hip hop. I had been watching Scribble DVDs, all that stuff. And uh, uh, my boy Austin gave me a flyer for 
an uh, upcoming battle like a month later, and it was called Hip Hop Tonight. And it was one of those things where it was like a thousand dollar MC battle, but there was also break dance battle, DJ battle, a graffiti like auction or contest or something. And uh, yeah, he gave me the fly, like, you should enter this. I'm like, I don't even freestyle. He's like, well, you got a month to learn. So I did that. And uh, long story short, it was crazy. Awkwards was there, and it was years before I knew Awkwards or uh, knew he was even there. But we, we talked about it later. He's like, dude, I was at that battle. But it was crazy. There was like 200 MCs or 160-something <laughs> rappers. It's like in, it was a sold-out venue, like 2,000 people at the Crystal Ballroom. Um, I accidentally won. And it's <laughs> pretty much what started everything. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, man. Drop that, oh. Yo, check it. Yo. Yo, call me MC Gravity, cause I'm holding it down. Plus your gap's so big, people wanna shop in your mouth. Check it, if you really wanna step to me, you need to exit my testicles and then check who you step into. I'm too ill, 15, keeping it clean. I'm nearly some C in this competition. Yo, it's like I'm invisible to your vision. You ain't seeing me, I'm going out or busting. The only reason your style's called freestyle, cause it ain't worth nothing. It's one of those things where I won, I was 15 years old and I, I won, there was a couple debatable battles, but I had won the crowd over cause it was like, you know, the underdog effect and like, oh, this little, this little kid can, is out, is rapping against all these adults, you know, and with, with like OGs in the scene and everything. So basically afterwards, like on all the forums and everything, a lot of uh, rappers in Portland were saying, like saying shit about like how I didn't deserve the win, I only won because I was a little kid, et cetera. And that, not the win, but that right there is what really fueled my competitive nature to say, okay, well, I'm gonna prove it's not a fluke and I'm gonna work on this every single day. And I went, went on to, you know, take down almost every battle in the city that was coming up. And it was really fueled from like people doubting or trying to prove everyone wrong that it wasn't a fluke, that I was nice. The person I, you know, I'm most competitive with is myself. Like I'm always just trying to outdo what I did last time. And I think even looking back at that, people doubting that I should have won that first battle, it was less about them and more about wanting to prove to myself that it, that it wasn't a fluke and that I could really do this. So in times of like preparing for a battle or whatever, I'll externalize it as motivation, but know myself well enough to know it's really about proving to myself that I can be the best version of myself every time I go out and outdo my last performance every time.